Let's go to uh, Bill at the Gay Pride Parade. Bill right. at the Gay Pride Parade. Bill. I'll do it. Hey. What? <laughs> Would they catch Bill marching? <laughs> that fucking fantastic body of his, the little tube top. Ugh. Who went down the Gay Pride Parade? A pair of spandex bike shorts. Bill out. Uh, who went down there that's willing to admit it? Bill and that's a co-worker? Uh, Bill. Yeah, right. yeah, who went just for the fun of it? Here's who, Bill. Who else went Looking down there? Looking fantastic. How are you, Bill, or as you're now known, Mr. Popular? Hey, everyone. How's it going? Did you get a haircut? Uh, yeah. Some, somebody <laughs> ripped it out from the back. Down uh, <laughs> Down at the Gay Pride Parade? Uh, nah. Not before that? Nah. Yeah. Wait, well, who'd and you it, go with? It looks like you're freshly shampooed. Yes. Very, like, uh, you have body to your hair today. Yeah, it's a nice haircut. It's got <laughs> bounce. You look like it's you got should bounce. It's, it's shiny a little, but not greasy. He looks like you should be on a just for men box. Right, yeah. <laughs> just for men. That's what he looks like when he grows that friggin' Dan Haggerty beard <laughs> in two days. Just for men. Did you do a lot of man to man kissing yesterday? Did you? Um, no. A little open mouth, a little butt fucking. Just because nah. you're down there. Hey, you know you normally don't like. Uh, what, like a Spanish food, but you go to the uh, Hispanic Day Parade, you might have some Spanish food. That's right. That's you right. go to the gay parade, you don't normally like a cock in your ass, but uh, you're there. Out of respect. When in Rome? Oh. Mm, take a big fistful of grease up the ass. <laughs> hey, who'd you go with? Child star? No, nah, uh, actually, I just want oh, my please. friend Ed. Going to no take child else. star down there? Why we only have one guy from the show going? Take some. Let's take some Why fresh would we steaks have more, Jimmy? Why down to would the we? lion's cage and throw it in and hope they don't eat it. It's, it's take not. Child Star down there. Forget about it. Why didn't he go? I thought he was going. Because he would be chum. Basically, it was just m myself and my friend Ed who volunteered to help when you found out else was helping. Your close friend Ed. He had no problem uh, volunteering. Volunteering, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. I was going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just Bill and Ed. Ed and Bill. Right. And yeah, my bodyguard and me. Hold ha uh, any hand holding? Mm -hmm. As you walk in, get nah, lost in the nah. crowd a little. All right. So what? Gotta hold on to each other. So what did you see down there? Basically, we started uh, at the top of the parade on Fifth, and we walked down it into the. Uh, well, basically, it was, as a top. it was like Conrad's Heart of uh, Darkness. As I walked closer to uh, Christopher Street, Conrad. it got a lot more okay. weird and. Uh, hold on, I gotta look. That hedonistic that. society. And it was... I think he's accurate. Yeah. I think I that was the original author, right? Yeah. Of hard, yeah. But I'll bet you there wasn't a lot of violence. Original author. Right? Never read. Like there were more than one. No violence, I'm right? Ass and everyone uh, no it. violence. There was definitely a lot of... Um, Love. Homosexual people. Well, oh, yeah. the gay parade would draw homosexuals. As if you're out of town, you think it's just one big family? Well, yeah. there's a lot, of, a lot of ugly women in this <laughs> family. <laughs> Uh, marching in very provocative attire, some of them, right? Oh, yes. A lot of trannies. Um, yeah, there were some. Yeah. I, it Doesn't it seem a little odd if you're trying to um, assimilate to society and get the respect that you are due as a human being, um, that you would choose to, to have a parade that is telecast, that shows the real fringe kind of stereotypes in that community. Well, what's the point of acting like a human being, you know, to those people? Why would they want to assimilate? They get they they love the fact that they're on the outside. Yeah. But the pot, is that the, it? the problem I have is not I mean they should be allowed to march of course, okay. but it's that like the gay community complains like, "Hey, you know, well, why can't we be boy scout leaders?" And I agree in most cases, you should be able to, but when you as an organization showcase the craziest side as well. They're part... Look, right. black people, uh, Irish, everyone has crazy or, or fringe members, and you don't have to shoot them, but you don't have to stick them on a float and go, eh? Look, eh? look at this guy, the way he sucks a cock right in the middle of the street as he takes one in the ass. I mean, yeah, the Irish and the other ones don't showcase, or they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, uh, you know, this Puerto Rican Day Parade certainly did with some well. of the questionable elements. <laughs> Couple of years, sure. So we sure. got some audio. We should get right into it. Yes, please. Were you let's, uncomfortable, Bill? Let's dig deep no. into it. Not really. Let's thrust deep into it. The first track is labeled Two Gay Guys. <laughs> ah, okay, that's simple. He's just Steve specific. <laughs> so let's listen to uh, Two Gay Guys. Two Gay Guys. <laughs> Jesus. An elderly guy and his young friend. Ew. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I know, by the way, that I'm too comfortable around gay people in New York. Because oh, I've actually seen people like that, and I've said, how did he hook up with him? How did he get him? <laughs> Must be a sugar daddy. 
There's nothing sadder than an old single gay guy. There's one. You know, he just ain't getting anything. There's a sushi place I go to right around the corner from the cellar. And there's a gay guy that goes in there, and he is... He looks like William Frawley, but his head tapers. He has a tiny tapered head. He's a fat older gentleman with a white must. He is horrendous looking. And he hits on this very feminine looking Asian boy that works at oh, this, uh, wow. at this, uh, 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 sushi place. The guy is really a flaming homosexual. And it's so funny to watch this older man try to seduce this young, svelte, uh, I'm guessing pseudo masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Two gay guys. All right, so I've noticed that you're gay. On a scale of one to ten. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be. This is, wow, <laughs> you are observant. So what gave it away besides being at the gay pride parade? Um, when the guy was pissing into a box on the sidewalk, the other guy was holding his shoulders. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think All it right. Appropriate people oh, to well, approach. That, that would certainly give it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should I answer for everything? You should have been a said. detective, Bill. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've noticed that you're gay. On a scale of one to ten, <laughs> how, how gay are you? Noticed. How gay am I? I'd say about a six. Ten and a half. Uh, was it easy to open up to your parents? <laughs> for me, not for them. Fairly, yeah. For you, on a scale of one to ten, how disappointed were they? <laughs> were mother, not at all. She knew before I did. My father, half. I would say fifty. All right. Do you find the term faggot offensive? No, I am one. I am one. <laughs> <laughs> you hear people use it who don't mean it in a malicious way? No, they're just ignorant. When it's used maliciously, it's offensive, but... but if I said, like, that tree's a faggot, would you be offended by that? <laughs> it, no. it will be a bundle of sticks one day, by definition, <laughs> when it's chopped down. <laughs> Actually, <good point. laughs> um, who do you think are better, or better dressers, the gay community or the black community? Or if I'm more influential... Do you think Jesus was gay? He had long hair. Last question. What do you think about <laughs> as gay cologne? Is that offensive to you? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank Appreciate you. No problem. Hmm. What was that beeped? Oh, boy. Know. Now we have a new problem. Oh, Well, brother. this was bleeped because we were thinking about playing on the first half of the Opie and Anthony show. But we're not over there anymore. Gee, I we? can't think of what that beep was covering. Hmm. Dracar? <laughs> yeah. Maybe Which I'd rather wear a cum than Dracar. Cum? Why would they believe... Oh, this? you think that was it? <laughs> Should I yeah. say? Yeah. It was... I think it was... Jism. Uh, Jism. Fart. Fart? Yeah, gas. I would have thought cum. Is you this whole thing bleeped? They're reburning the uh, unbleeped audio. Cause the XM, Isn't that great? The XMers are going to lose their mind. We're, we're, we're playing shit... That has curses in it on FM, and then we're coming here and playing <laughs> bleach. Shit. Why would we have it all figured out? Why? <laughs> that would be crazy. God damn! How come no one helped Bill though? This no one is... helped Bill this week. Why did nobody help you? This hmm. is the greatest yeah. staff in radio history. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> You make a good point. Shits and fucks get through over there on, on FM where the dump guy's got to uh, hit the button. Yeah, he's losing But his here, <laughs> thank God we're bleeped. Because we'd hate to look like fucking assholes hey, over whoa, here. whoa, whoa, not that type of talk, Ant. <laughs> so now what? Now what? Well, what? I got smoothie on my face. Uh, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, yesterday doesn't it, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Bill, you can, <laughs> Bill, why don't you just sit there? We're going to take a break, and uh, we'll figure out this whole dump. That thing. sounds good. A break. Maybe we should play um, Steve Lynch's song, mm -hmm. If I Were Gay, some kind of gay theme here. Oh. Or, uh, gay theme. I or, like yogurt. What about, um? we don't have... Um, we don't have that Norm Macdonald clip. Oh, do we? God, that's funny. Have we played that over Un here? Uncensored. Yeah. We have that? It's one of our greatest clips ever. Oh, we have played it. it over here? Yes. Let's see. See, now we got a scram. I want to hear it. I want to hear it uncensored. Oh, E-Rock. E-Rock comes running in. Holy shit. E-Rock. E He's just pointing at stuff. E-Rock. 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 E Look at him go. That mouse is just moving. Up. E rock. Loves e rock. Cock. Loves cock. E rock. Loves, loves cock. cock. E rock. Loves Likes cock. cock. <laughs> Thanks. I was just saying e rock. That's right. That child shirt. 
<laughs> Jesus, what are you, a tall six-year-old? What's the matter with you? <laughs> you can never win. How can he with stripes on the sleeve and shoulder? Vroom! Vroom! What's wrong with you, Eric? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like you're racing into a cock backwards. <laughs> Vroom! It's got a racing stripes. Oh, what's that? That's it. One time I was doing this thing in San Francisco, and they were all gay uh, people in the audience. They told me, so I figured I'd in do. In San Francisco? Yeah. No. <laughs> so I figured I'd do stuff about gay people so that they could relate to. Yeah, it's warm up. Right. <laughs> they love that. And so I was talking about because I went to this gay pride parade, and I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, "We are proud of our gay son." You know, and so I was saying, that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know, it's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. And I, I just wondered, I just, I, I had a hard time believing that these 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging. You know, I work like they're, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid, oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know. A first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm and, uh, oh yeah, he loves cock. <laughs> you know? This kid. He can't get enough cock in his mouth, his ass, this kid's always cock. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man's cock. I want to show it to him. To watch the maturation of you as an artist, to realize it took you nine and a half minutes to get around to the second cock stop. It's beautiful to see you comfortable in your own skin, Norm. Uh, let's get back to the audio. <laughs> Bill at the Gay Pride Parade. We're ready to go here. Oh, Bill. Second track is titled Gay Spanish Guy. Okay, so I guess... How do you know, it. Bill? How do you know? I thought I wrote Gay Puerto Rican Guy, but oh. I might have spelled it wrong. Well, that, that's a hell of a way to spell uh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> I know there's a U in there. But anyway, all right. Yeah, this guy's like a closet guy who came out or something. All right. Hey, right, on a scale of one to ten, how gay are you? From one to ten, how gay I am? I consider myself to be five. From one to ten, if I could be, I could be ten, but I'm five now. All right, so is that like bi? Like five? Oh, that's gay, but pro probably more of a closet type of gay. Oh. So this will be the first time in a, in a parade. Was it hard coming out of the closet? Or hard to come out? It's a process. You, you know, it's a lifetime process. Well, was it hard to tell your parents? Was it hard to tell my parents? It's something we don't, we don't discuss about. Something that we, should, we know from the beginning and, and we respect that matter. Um, what do you think safer? The uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade or the Gay Parade Parade? Safer? What do you mean by safer? Le least likely to get sti uh, stabbed during or accosted. Least oh, I'm from Puerto Rico and uh, I cannot make a comparison. It's just a different type of setup. Do you find the word faggot offensive? Yes, it could be offensive. Yeah. Even if it's used indirectly, like not at someone or maliciously. No one a faggot, but sometimes I feel like calling faggots faggots. I Get you to your nerves to be a faggot. I understand. You mean like overly? Yeah, gay people they get overly they exaggerate between between ourselves and you know they could get offensive in our own community. It's it's weird. It's between us. It's it's not you know that's that's the weird thing that we have to fight about. Hey, I think that'll be all. All right. Skid marks a turn on. A skid mark? What is that? I don't know that. No, 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 no acquainted with that term. That, that, really was that was Ed. <laughs> Ed just chimed in. That's good boy, Ed. Good, yeah, Ed. it's all right. You, you know what that guy uh, sounds like now? Now when I give a blowjob, <laughs> the cum dribbles out my throat. <laughs> they did not used to be like that. <laughs> you see in the commercial, he, he's got an alcohol swab and he's cleaning out his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim because all the water goes into my culo and the people are just laying there on the ground. <laughs> Ooh, what do you, what do you, what do you, uh, more corn tickets, more corn tickets, more corn, corn tickets, today. my goodness. Yeah. Maybe we'll Ooh, yeah. Good gravy. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow or later today. Corn okay. tickets. Con. Con. <laughs> All right, the next What's one. What's the next one labeled? Gay Ed. Gay Ed. Gay Ed. Some guy named Ed. 
What did he look oh. like? A uh, big bear guy. Fat guy. Oh, a bear? A hairy guy. Was he big and hairy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have tattoos? <laughs> did he drive a... Uh... He had like a son with him. What's wrong? I just smelled something. What's the matter? What did you smell? I don't know. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. <laughs> did he fart, Bill? No. All right. No, maybe it's just me. I'm sorry. Did someone just walk in and walk out? Uh, you rock. So, Gay Ed. All right, here's Gay Ed. <laughs> hey, what's your first name? Ed. Hey, Ed. Um, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how gay are you? 11. All right. Um, do you wish it was raining men right now? Only on me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you think would be is safer, the gay pride parade or the Puerto Rican day parade? Gay pride, of course. Why is that? Everyone's just out here to basically have fun. Uh, and it's a group of very diverse people that agree upon the same thing. So we're just here to have fun and show people that we can also be regular people. Unlike the Puerto Rican parade, which is more aggressive, right? Correct. All right. Who do you think is a better, dre- a better dressed community, the gay community or the black community? The gay community, of course. We have style. Why is, wait, why is that? Well, there's a lot of designers understanding, and of course, there's a lot of competition out there. Do you think that Lance, Arm- uh, Lance Armstrong bracelets are gay? I have no opinion on that. Do you think Jesus was gay? Jesus is everything anyone wants him to be. Oh, correct. All right, which of the following items do you think are do you think the following items are gay or not? iPods. No. Corn on the cob. Could be. Smoothies. I don't get into smoothies. I only get into fur. Egg white omelets. Could be. Bagels and seltzer. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Starbucks apple cake. <laughs> Absolutely. And rollerblading. Sure. <laughs> That'll be all. Thank you very much, Ed. The boy, Bill. Have a gay day. Thanks. <laughs> Way to go, That's right. Bill. Bagels and Seltzer. The Norton and Faggot Show. <laughs> That's what we should call this program. Uh, that was a very right, funny Bill. line of questioning. Yes, very nice. <laughs> Sounded offensive. That took a fine turn. Uh, Bill at the Gay Pride Parade. The next track is listed as Gay Hipster Guy. Oh, yeah, this guy didn't seem to be liked, uh, didn't like answering questions. This guy looked a little too cool for the room. Oh, yes, really? Hey. Hey, what's your name? Just so, uh, first name? Rick. Mark? Nick? Rick, R I C K. So I've noticed that you're gay. On a scale from 1 to 10, how gay are you? 10. Do you think Jesus was gay? I don't think he was gay, but I think if Jesus. If he knew someone that was gay, he was gonna forgive and love. At what age did you decide to turn gay? I didn't turn gay. <laughs> I was born gay. What was the first time you tried on your sister's clothing? I never. Ha- I don't have a sister. What do you dislike about the gay community? What do I dislike about it? I'm too focused on on youth and being young. Once you hit forty, it's over. <laughs> well, unless you have money, and then you pay younger people to, you know, like you get a. Uh, no, no, no. No, not necessarily. Because I'm pretty sure in the gay community, also money speaks volumes. <laughs> Are skid marks a turn on or no? I don't even know what that is. It you know a little. When you you have a sneaker and you leave a skid mark on the floor, yeah. a turn on. Or? No. All right. All right. One more question: Would you rather be black or gay? No comment. I'm Thanks, man. I'm starting to believe they don't know what a skid mark. How is. does the uh, how do gay people not know what skid marks? None are? of them wear Although underpants. <laughs> well, they got to keep it nice and clean back there. They don't they don't uh, have the. It's skid always mark pushed problem. up so deep it never <laughs> reaches the underwear. <laughs> we, <we're> not, you, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in there, yeah, you daffy or, bastard. Or it gets cleaned out, so like instead of skid marks, every other cock looks like it has a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final clip from Bill at the Gay Pride Parade. By the way, Bill's doing a fine job. Bill's, you yeah, got yeah. balls, Thank Bill. You. you got balls. That's right. And they were groped. They at the, certainly at were. The parade. I bet you Bill had his balls cupped gently a couple of times. You think? A couple of these. Like, eh, this, n- this like kid. Jiggled a bit. <laughs> this kid. Cup, 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 cup. Cup, cup, cup. Gay man on roller blades. Oh. How do you feel about the Catholic Church stance on marriage, gay marriage? I think um, the greatest problem in our world today is fanaticism. And uh, the problem with the Catholic Church right now is the fact that it is so suppressed within its own environment and fear of 
homosexuality because of what has happened with the scandal Boring. of the priest. <laughs> Do you think a good way to get back at the Catholic Church is to have a couple have gay sex in St. Patrick's Cathedral? Cathedral, <laughs> <laughs> you dope. <laughs> um, to have sex in St. Patrick's Cathedral? I show him a lesson. What? Teach him a lesson. Well, I thought about it. I think it's better to just go up to the crucifix and just, you know, my whole my whole support is for blowjobs for Jesus. I think that uh, my foundation blowjobs for Jesus will not be condemned. No, I think my I think that that Boy, Jesus shock, was a homosexual. Oh. I, um, I I do want to say one thing. I saw Frescos in Italy. I go to Italy a lot for work. I saw Frescos under a church that weren't supposed to be seen. And on the Frescos, it shows John and Jesus almost, I mean, like a gay couple. Exactly. Makes sense. One last question. I've noticed you're wearing rollerblades. Is rollerblading a, um, an activity of the gay community? Uh, no, I think it's a, an activity of any community. Um, I just do it to get around. But mine are more fabulous, of course. Fabulous. Bears or smoothies? <laughs> Bears or smoothies? Smoothies. <laughs> smoothies, only because I was a competitive athlete for for most of my life. And uh, I don't know. I think we just all adhere to our own needs. <laughs> what would you rather have right now? A fistful of $50 bills or a colon full of fists? Oh, God. <laughs> I like from the, from the bottom of my heart to the heart of my bottom. I would like $50 bills because I'm a pitcher, not a catcher. Although I look like a catcher, I've been told. Pitcher. Oh, my God. <clears throat> not a catcher. Bill asking some uh, tough questions. Bill He's got great. some... Uh, Bill did great. Bill did, of course he did. Extreme uh, opinions huh? on religion, that guy. Bill, you did great. Oh, you really you. did. You have balls. That first question was Nathaniel's. That first question I usually open with. I, I hear yeah. some uh, some Nathaniel questions uh, in yeah, there. Let me borrow that. I liked his... I hear uh, some Nathaniel questions in there, yeah. I like that guy delving into Jesus and uh, what was that? Who did he say? John? Yeah. It's like the Da Vinci load. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. The pushing. <laughs> well, of course, we got to end our gay discussion today with a fine little song. Thank you, uh, Bill. Good You're job, welcome. Bill.